You know, Carly, I don't know how you feel about me. I mean, I know we get along. If I ever did anything to piss you off, I'm just going to apologize now and for anything I might do in the future. And I'm just going to ask you to not tell Robin if she finds out that I slept with Lisa. Oh, you are so cute when you're begging and suffering. And... Your secret's safe with me. I'm not going to say anything. Are you sure? Why would I tell Robin? I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love to wipe that sanctimonious smirk off her face, but that means I would hurt you, and why would I want to do that? You've been wonderful to me and my family. And although I don't understand why you love Robin, the fact is you do. And that's all that matters. Plus, I'd have some nerve being judgmental, because I've cheated on all my husbands. I just can't believe that I was acting like such an idiot. Are you kidding me? I warned you. I saw Lisa coming a mile away. Yeah, I know, and I was too busy wallowing in my own self-pity to even see what was happening. And all Robin was doing was paying loyalty to a friend and honoring her past. I'm guessing that loyalty was to Sonny. What was the honor? Stone. Oh. You know, Robin and I were... We were fighting a little bit before she left for Africa. It's basically me getting mad at her of her defense of Sonny and, um... created distance between us. And then she started working more with the AIDS Foundation instead of me actually being honest with her and telling her how I was feeling, shut out, and I just smiled and nodded. And then I'd take off and go to Jake's and have some drinks and play darts with Lisa. Jake's can be a dangerous place. Yeah, then I'd go to the hospital and Lisa would be there. All vibrant and easy on the eyes. The worst thing about it is that I'm the perfect cliche because Lisa was the one paying attention to me. So I cheated with my ex-girlfriend on my wife because we weren't seeing eye to eye. Okay, stop, stop. Stop being so hard on yourself. I know you're trained to believe it, but you're not God, okay? You're just... You're just a, a human being stumbling through life, and sometimes you make mistakes, and sometimes they're, they're pretty big ones, but... Robin going off to Africa didn't help. I mean, if I saw Lisa coming, how come Robin couldn't? I guess Lisa knew how to play Robin, and Robin was too preoccupied to notice. Okay, you know what? When you snooze, you lose, and Robin should know that. In any event, today's your lucky day. It's a dubious honor, but I'm gifted in the art of lying, and you're about to benefit. Never been in a lockdown before. Do you have any idea how long it's been? Okay. How does Robin feel about Lisa? In what way? Are they friendly? Are they prickly? I mean, I need to know this so I can help you cover your butt. I don't think Robin is suspicious of Lisa, but that could be changing as we speak. What the hell am I doing in here? Uh, where are you going? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I gotta go try and save my marriage. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna walk up to Robin and say, I slept with Lisa? Carly, obviously, I'm not as good at cheating as I used to be. Before it didn't matter, but now I have a family. And I can't, I can't have that big lie in the middle of what's good and pure and expect to keep it. If you don't, you're gonna lose everything. How did the conversation about the competition between you just on a good day? As the wrong party, she will freeze you out so fast you won't even feel the door hit you. Robin can't know that you've slept. Carly, I know you hate Robin, but I screwed up plenty and she's forgiven me every single time. Right, okay, how many women have you confessed to having sex with since you've been married? Good point. You can't tell her. I can't have this lie with Lisa. Okay, where does that stand? I mean, was sleeping with Lisa a one-time only thing or are you gonna keep it going? Are you serious? No. Sleeping with Lisa was the biggest mistake I've ever made. You seem quiet. Are you all right?